guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here. I missed you. So yeah, sorry about the delay getting your reading out to you. I um, am embarrassed to say that it was because my internet got shut off. Um, but I'm back now, so I actually use it as an opportunity to fine tune the book that accompanies my cards. So I got a great deal of work done. Uh, so embrace it, right? When the tower comes, embrace it. So. This is going to be a twin flame reading for uh, January the 11th until the 22nd. So I'm going to be doing it every 11 days now. Um, just to give me an opportunity to get caught up in all the readings. i got a ton of emails that I need to go through. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm using my deck. I'm going to pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. You can probably fast forward through this part. I'm not likely to say anything important. Um, yeah, so if you're ever thinking of donating to the channel, now would be an awesome time. Okay, so um, let me just give my deck a quick shuffle. Ooh, a little stiff. Jeez, okay. Jump cards jumping. That was the page of sorts that just jumped out. over here. So beginning with the feminine past position is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a gift, a new opportunity, a new job, something to generate money. It's uh, a gift of abundance as well. So this is a, a seed of intention being planted. Um, so it looks to me like she has been focusing on uh, generating um, you know, abundance and prosperity in her life. So let's see what the confirmation cards are. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles would be a long-term goal manifested into the 3D reality. So this would be the completion of this cycle from the Ace to the Ten. So um, this is like a retirement energy, okay? So she feels like, or she may have had a vision of this long-term goal and so she um, she's beginning to manifest or formulate you know a plan or take an opportunity to create this long-term goal so the five of cups is mourning and loss this is in her present position in the past so this is a feeling of you know um, having an attachment to something and thing not working out and then you're left with pain so it's a closed off heart so she had this vision of this happy ending and you know long-term fulfillment however she attached to that idea and as a result it brought her a lot of pain and remorse and so Instead of closing herself off from that pain, she's opening herself up with the Six of Pentacles. This is um, reciprocation. It's an even exchange of energy flowing between you and another person. So um, she's working to become open, to spread her generosity among, you know, not just her family and friends, but to all. So this is understanding the law of um, 
you know, attraction. When you give, you received. So even though she may have felt some deep sorrow and pain because something didn't work out, she's working on opening herself up and continuing to work on manifesting her dreams into the 3D reality. Okay, so what's in the masculine's past is the Ten of Swords. So this represents um, the ending to the dark night of the soul. So this is it. he was consumed with negative thoughts, uh, negative energy, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling betrayed. And so this would indicate an ending to it. So it's interesting how there's a ten here, which reduces to one, and then the, the feminine side has two, two ones. The ten reduces to the one, and then the ace. So there's a lot of endings and new beginnings being represented here. So this is all about... Um, the mental space okay and so he may have put an ending to some things in his life and fr that freed him up mentally so the eight of wands or sorry the eight of wands the nine of swords and the knight of wands so we have this very dark thought consuming energy in the center but it's surrounded by this fiery, passionate, creative, manifest, manifesting kind of energy. Um, these two cards coupled together is like um, an explosive energy, like an atomic bomb going off. But they are separated by this dark fear that seems to have been consuming the masculine. So the Eight of Wands <clears throat> could represent communication, keep its arrows, it's sending love out to the universe, it is um, starting to see the manifestation of your dreams into reality, um, and so it drives you further, it gives you, you know, it um, gives you fuel to push yourself forward. So the goal is there, it's to be had, and you can see it, you can almost reach out and touch it, right, so, and then suddenly there's this stop with the Nine of Swords, it's you know, worry, anxiety, fear, guilt, and just being consumed with negative thoughts that it, it um, immobilizes you. Then we have a movement, again, with the Knight of Wands in the future. So this is an explosion, a blast out of the gate. Very directed, very controlled energy um, with a focus on achieving your dreams and manifesting them. So um, there was power, then... then intense fear and then power again so that's great to see you know it's like the phoenix rising out of the um, out of the ashes basically he had to go through a dark night of the soul um, to be released from whatever was holding him back right so yeah it could have mean like the end of communication or either way there was direction and then stopped and then movement again. Okay, so the present position for the feminine is the sun. Very nice. So she is embodying the qualities of the sun. So this is um, the best, you know, the most positive card in the deck. It represents all the positive emotions and feelings. It's new beginnings, um, but it also represents illumination, enlightenment, um, and the return to an innocence, a pure state. So she's, she's found her light within and she is vibrating this beautiful, um, brilliant energy. And as a, result, as a result, it's going to attract positivity back to her, again, through the law of attraction. So because she opens herself up in the past, she, she receives this beautiful empowering energy. It's also masculine energy as well. The page, there's that page again, the Four of Pentacles and Justice. Very nice. So page of Swords past position is having a clear understanding. Um, it is having mental clarity. It is making decisions, cutting away barriers. It's thought-provoking conversations. You can tell that I've been working on my book, right? <laughs> Okay, so this could be uh, the feminine speaking her truth or, or coming to this realization, right? Having a mental clarity about something. And because she was able to express herself or open up communication, 
it brought in the, the sun. However, in the present position, we have the Four of Pentacles, and this is somebody being closed off, holding on too tightly. So the feminine is closed off in the 3D reality, or it may be experience, experiencing this energy from the masculine, but I really feel it's a feminine. Um, closing off possibly to the masculine, and that's why there's this mental anguish over there. However, what goes around comes around. The Justice card says that whatever you send out into the universe will come back to you tenfold, okay? So the present, the feminine really needs to uh, open herself up, not o only spiritually, right? She may be pursuing her higher goals, you know, living her life purpose, that kind of thing, just really vibrating and being a light worker, helping people to awaken and that kind of energy. But to the masculine, she's closed off. Or, again, she could be holding on too tightly, one of the two, either way. So everything will come into balance in the future. Um, justice will be served. So because you're the sun, more beautiful energy will come back. So I'm just going to pull a confirmation card to see what that um, Four of Pentacles is all about. So I'm going to use my smaller deck for that. What do you mean by the Four of Pentacles? Okay, so sudden destruction or endings. Um, yeah, okay, so this is like frustration. So we have that ending happening in the, in the past with the masculine. So there may have been some communication that caused her to become closed off, to, to suddenly feel an ending, but from that ending, from that destruction, there's this beautiful sun rising again, right? So um, we'll see what the rest of the, the reading has to say. Are you able to see those cards? Okay, so in the masculine's present position is the King of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is, um, his, his entire focus is basically on the 3D reality. So he's um, a provider. He's, he wants uh, to, to provide this safe, secure, stable home environment. Um, and make sure that everyone's needs are taken care of, right? So this is somebody who's very successful, um, doesn't place a lot of importance on the 3D reality, but takes a lot of pleasure from being surrounded by his friends and family. One moment. <clears throat> Sorry, a little tickle there. So he may want to communicate, right? we got that page of swords back there. Okay, so we got the Four of Cups in the past position. This is somebody turning their back on somebody, uh, it's disconnect, it is stagnation, things aren't moving, but it's um, being emotionally disconnected. Um, and it could be longing for a connection. So I feel, you know, um, he, this dark energy may have caused him to turn away emotionally, but now it seems that he's ready for a new start with the um, wheel, or sorry, with the fool card. This is the, the beginning of uh, it's a birth of consciousness so this is coming into the world like a baby okay you have um, no memories you have no expectations you have no fears of what lies ahead so it's returning to this beautiful innocent state of oneness and just being willing to take a leap of faith take a step forward towards start in this new life. So this is this represents the super conscious mind. Um, so it's a confirmation card. So this means that he is, is trying to, you know, find that stillness within himself so that he can begin a new life or just be open up to, to experiencing life like a child. The three ones <clears throat> in the future position this is a thumbs up from the universe. It is feeling like you're on the right track. It's, it's feeling inspired. It's feeling motivated. It, you know, it's a lot of encouragement. This is seeing your manifestation starting to form, um, but knowing that there's still more work to do. Okay, and this could also represent an artist, so pr pursuing like creative, 
your creative passion. So we got this wand energy being activated in the future. So there is movement or a desire to move forward. Um, but first there's this sense of stillness being created within his soul. But he's being encouraged to do it, to move forward, to take a leap. The near future for the feminine, and wow. <laughs> Okay, so before where it was a um, just confirmation card in the present moment it has now turned into a full manifestation of somebody being closed off in, in the 3D reality, holding on too tightly. You know, this is somebody who has gained um, some abundance in their life. They have, you know, they're starting to see their saving accounts um, built. And so they have a fear of, of losing control or losing you know, what they work so hard for. And so there's a sense of uneasiness that comes with this card. So, you know, again, this could be the feminine being closed off or the masculine. Let's see what the confirmation cards. Okay, the Eight of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. That's good to see. Ace of Swords, past positions, self-imposed prison of the mind, but it's an impressive energy coming from the outside, so somebody is making her feel that way. So mentally, she felt locked out or disconnected from the masculine. There, there's these negative thoughts were, that were preventing her from, you know, fully opening herself up, okay? And so in the near future, she is embodying this closed-off energy, and it's because of something that took place in the past that essentially broke her heart. But I mean, like I said, if you're attached to something and it goes, then you're left with mourning, right? So... She desires to be open up and be receptive, but, you know, she's experiencing this, this closed um, 3D energy. So the lover's card is in the present position, so this is passion ignited. So this is still having these desires to connect with your, your soulmate, your twin flame. Um, still feeling passion within yourself and desiring to start that loving connection again. Now, the Ace of Cups in the future, this only comes when you're ready to open your heart and allow somebody into your life, right? This is a longing energy. And if the eight, Ace of Cups does, in fact, manifest in the future, because it is only a confirmation card at this point, um, it will come from the willingness to be open, okay, and and it seems to be, like I said, um, coming from these negative thoughts from the past. Okay, so for the near future for the masculine, Queen of Pentacles, wow. So present moment, we have the king, near future, we have the queen. So the, the, the king is the father figure, the queen is the mother figure, okay, so the queen of Pentacles is somebody that um, she enjoys looking after people, caring for them, um, sharing her abundance. She's very, um, she's independently wealthy. She's secure financially. She doesn't need to rely on anybody to help her. Um, and she enjoys luxury. She enjoys the finer thing in life, finer things in life. And she enjoys making her home very comfortable and welcoming. So she's one who will work, um, a full-time job but also look after the kids and keep the house clean and, you know, um, food on the table, that kind of thing. But, and whereas the king is, you know, he's focused on providing stability and, and groundedness, but he's also someone who you can turn to and to, to receive advice and who will guide you, who is very wise. Okay, so that this team together and the 3D reality creates a very beautiful, stable, grounded, happy home, right? They would create the Ten of Pentacles kind of um, long-term, you know, vision that is being manifested here. The Ten of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles retired, right? So now they're surrounded by um, friends and family. Um, so anyway... I just heard my daughter. I might have to stop the video. So let me just flip the cards around just in case. Okay, so that's a four of swords. Even though there's a three of swords image there. It's, I caught that mistake when it came back from the printer. Oh, nine 
of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Nine of Swords. Interesting. Okay, so the um, Queen of Pentacles in the near future. So this could be the King of Pentacles coming into union in the 3D with the Divine Feminine who is in her 3D form or desiring that or there's a sense of them meeting or coming together in the 3D um, or they could create this team um, or commitment or you know to this long term to manifesting this long term goal so they could come together with this strong commitment to create a happy home in, in the 3D reality okay so the third eye chakra nice seven of pentacles and the two oops I got two cards here so uh, first I saw the two of wands and then behind that <clears throat> is the three of cups so the third eye chakra is using your intuition your inner knowing tapping into the subconscious mind and there is a storehouse of information that you can tap into when you open up your third eye chakra so you know this is where creative thoughts inspiration um, you know things that are not known are brought to the surface so you can activate the third eye chakra when you meditate or when you do creative things like painting or writing just being in the zone will allow you to tap into this this energy so the masculine has been using his intuition in order to pull himself out of this darkened state and to return to this pure, innocent, um, childlike, free um, vibration. So the Seven of Pentacles in the present position is somebody who's waiting for the ships to return, waiting for a payoff. Oh, hold on one minute. Okay, so sorry about that. So yeah, the Seven of Pentacles is, you know, planting those seeds of intention, um, allowing them to grow, and they're now starting to take form or manifest into the 3D reality. But there's still a time frame that you have to wait. So because it is in the present position as a confirmation card, which is a lower, you know, energy, um, it suggests that the wait is possibly over the thing that you've been waiting for comes to fruition the queen of pentacles or earth is is harvest right it's that payoff it is manifestation of your goals so in the future position we have the door opening the two of wands this is an opening of consciousness so this is an expansion it's seeing all the possibilities um, and it's seeing how you are connected to the universe the Ace of Wands is the beginning of that that expansiveness. It's um, um, a Kundalini awakening. You know, it's that aha moment. So, in the near future, the masculine will be experiencing this opening even more so, especially with the Third Eye Chakra in the past. So, this is also representing making a decision in the past that was based on your higher um, your higher self, your higher goals, your, you know, it has to do with spirituality. It has to do with doing things that you were meant to be doing. It's doing things that make you passionate, feel free and inspired, open you up creatively. So we have the three of wands in the future, right? We have that door open, also opening up with the, um, um, the fool card, that zero point, right? And so here we have that same kind of energy being expressed and expansiveness and opening and it's at, it comes after a long period of time if you are sorry and then along with it is the three of cups so this is union this is two people coming together falling in love and celebrating that love so um, this could represent the feminine you know the masculine feminine coming into contact or a union um, in the future but there's this this opening, this this real major realization here, that that you know something that he was been waiting for, it comes and opens him up, and it leads to the heart chakra being activated. And here we have 
you know, the Ace of Wands and then the Two of Wands, again, as a crown chakra, or sorry, as a crowning energy. This means that both aspects desire to walk through that door, to expand their mind, to um, not only take that inspiration, but to actually start manifesting it, right? But So this is the um, taking that idea and building it and becoming excited and pursuing that. So that's what they want. They both desire this new beginning um, to align their life spiritually as well as physically. Okay, so the final outcome for the feminine is the Nine of Swords, right? So we have the Eight of Swords over here in the past and a progression to the Nine. So this is a worry, guilt, fear, right? The Nine, uh, the masculine got the Nine over there and it was accompanied with the Ten. So she needs to also um, release any fears that might be holding her back, right? It's um, inability to sleep, night terrors, nightmares. So this comes to a head, and it's because of, you know, possibly coming into contact with somebody who is being closed off. She feels locked out, right? Um, and so maybe she deals with it. She faces that. Uh, let's see what the conf whoa. Confirmation, confirmation cards are. God, I can't talk. Okay, so the Nine of Wands, and that would be... This is the overall energy of the reading, right? So the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It is taking on a lot of responsibilities. Um, you know, it is achieving and manifesting your goals, but then realizing that in order to maintain that success, that you have to keep up this energy, right? And so it is a feeling of um, overextending yourself, feeling burdened and wanting to give up. But at the core of who you are, you still have that ability or that drive to, to give it a final push. You're almost there. You're almost at the finish line. Your dreams will be manifested. It's just a matter of, of sticking to it. And the Ten of Wands would be um, being forced to take a break due to exhaustion. So you don't want to get to that point. You want to be able to... to um, you know, not give so much of yourself. It is um, giving responsibilities to other people, right? So it can free you up so you can actually enjoy life. So in the past, the feminine, we've got two nines here, which is nearing the completion of a cycle. So in the past, there's this really defensive, um, overpowering um, um, drive to attain something and because it didn't work out it caused this you know mental anguish right she felt locked out in the past and because of that she, it's like you know um, I'm hearing like fuck it you know that kind of thing but let's see what the rest of the cards are oh, okay so there you go the very nice okay so the divine feminine in the present position so this is um, all of the qualities of, you know, different aspects of the suits, you know, like the, uh, the queen of wands, who is very fiery, very passionate, very, you know, driven and inspirational and creative with the queen of swords, who is, has mental clarity, makes decisions, can communicate, um, and the Queen of Pentacles, who, you know, is this family-oriented type of person. Uh, and the Queen of Cups, who is the one who gives unconditional love. All rolled into one. Into one person who is completely balanced, you know, in all areas. So from this dark night of the soul, um, there's this desire, or drive to transform herself back into the divine feminine again and you can see that transformation happening in the future with the death card so that the death card puts an end to those you know that exhausting mental anguish um, washes it away so that you can be born again to be freed from the ego freed from things that are holding her, her back so that is absolutely perfect
Okay, so final come from the Mask and Four Swords. So this is rest, rejuvenation, relaxation. It is withdrawing from mental noise in order to heal the heart. So uh, let's see what the confirmation cards are. So strength, King of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. So past position, strength card. So this is taming the beast within. So this is creating a very gentle, nurturing, loving, caring environment so that you can transmute negative vibration into something more positive. So you're using a soft approach. Um, so either he came into contact with this energy, um, you know, as represented by the Queen of Pentacles, or he could have embodied this energy. But either way... This gentle energy is allowing him to withdraw and heal from past wounds. So present position, the King of Pentacles again. So same card here, right? Um, so again, this is somebody who's a provider. This is somebody who is very stable, grounded, very successful. So it looks to me like the masculine may be withdrawing in order to focus on material needs so that may be his immediate family or there's something that is you know it could be work but either way he's he's trying to maintain stability for the future for his family for his friends um it's sustainability basically so this seems to me that he's going to by going within by taming the beast by connecting with his inner self he He's able to make decisions that will ultimately, you know, help him achieve his goals, his long-term goals. However, the, however, the five of wands in the future position, this is challenges, obstacles, uh, something standing in your way, competition. So this is a, a feeling of not being worthy, not being good enough, and so n now you have to prove yourself. However, the king of pentacles has already stand, stood the test of time. He's already proven himself. He doesn't need to, um, you know, continue to put hard work and effort into something. Everything he touches turns to gold. So it's, it's um, kind of confusing that the Five of Wands would show up, but it, it kind of shows me that there's this confidence building with the masculine that he's continuing to try to um, hold on to or, or, you know, sustain and maybe that gives him the courage to overcome these, you know, obstacles in the future. What do you mean by the five of wands in the future position? Okay, so this one want, wanted to be shown. Not for you. Feels like I got these upside down, so I'm just going to turn this way. I do... Um, I take about a quarter of the deck and I flip them upside down because they have reverse meanings. So let me just, actually, let me just, no, I already pulled that one. So what I'm feeling with that is, you know, there's too many challenges standing in his way. And so there's a confidence level that's dropping here. And he, she's not for me. Or this could mean that there's something in his environment that is, you know, that's not for him. But he, he comes to this understanding through stillness and through healing, which is beautiful. It's a very gentering, gentle, nurturing energy. Okay, this one, feel healthy. Yes, he wants to feel healthy. He wants to feel good enough. He wants to be confident and, you know, like the King of Pentacles and you know, be that provider. But... Maybe it means that there's some health issues, but he wants he wants to heal himself, no doubt about it. With these two cards, he wants to heal himself, um, and maybe he's feeling some rejection or competition when it comes to the feminine. So, you know, he's controlling his animalistic urges to, you know, his instincts to lash out, right? The Three of Swords is heartbreak. Um, it is having your heart broken. Right, so the four of swords ew, is is finally healing those wounds. So with some gentle encouragement, possibly from somebody like 
a queen of pentacles who has who is very caring very nurturing um he is able to heal his heart all right so the seven of wands is what the feminine is bringing into the union so the seven of wands is having confidence in order to express yourself so it's getting to this point where people recognize you as being powerful right you're you've overcome those those challenges with the five of wands you were recognized by your peers and by people for your achievements and now you have to maintain that position right there's still people that are clawing and scratching at you to to achieve that same status as you so you're still in the midst of you know uh, competition and you're holding your ground okay but what I see here is um, somebody who has the confidence in order to express themselves hold their ground hold their position so it is a defensive pose what I see okay six of swords crown chakra and the page of pentacles so the six of swords past position this is disconnecting from negative energy and negative thoughts it's it's moving to a calmer state in mind um, and it's a decision to go on a different path okay so you can see here there's two people kind of moving in separate ways so again it's kind of pointing to this heartbreak that occurred in the past so the feminine experienced some pain some loss some you know dis she felt discouraged and that may have caused her to become closed off be that wounded warrior however she's working on um, opening herself to the collective to the super conscious um, she the crown chakra here is means I know it's your direct connection to source so in terms of this union there she's on um, a spiritual journey she's she she has a deep knowing that this connection um, is meant to draw out or make her better right it's to help her be the best possible um, authentic person that she can be and but there's a she's at a she's in a defensive pose she is withdrawing um, I'm not seeing necessarily an emotional withdrawal I'm seeing a desire there's still passion there um, she's withdrawing mentally and physically in order to pursue um, spiritual enlightenment she um, yeah she is it, she's going through a continual process of cutting away things that are holding her back right um, the page of Pentacles the future position is the student so this is somebody who sits down plans for the future plans for a long-term goal and they're committed they made a decision that they want to take a new path right and so there's no turning back so the page um, understands that there's a great deal of work um, in order you know ahead in order to to manifest her dreams but she's willing to do that work so it is complete mental and physical um, commitment or focus on achieving a goal in the 3d reality so here she has a gift being given to her and she's taking that gift and she is planning for that long-term goal she still wants to manifest this ten of Pentacles into her reality um, but in the present moment she's not open to that she's open to it in the future right now she is on a spiritual path to find herself right it's a journey to find self um, she, she, this could also mean communication in the 3D as well. So she might receive a message, good news, you know, um, that opens her up to more opportunities, like a you know a new uh, career or business opportunity. But there's going to be a new start in the future. There's reciprocation. There's 
you know, the law of attraction, or sorry, the law of cause and effect here that has to do with the sun. So it's energy, karmic energy coming back to her. There's the ace of cups in the future, right? And then we also have the divine feminine here in the future as well. So she's like on this border line. She's like on a precipice, right? Completely divided almost. Um, like there's this energy of being completely closed off in the, th in the present, but all these new starts and new beginnings opening up to her in the future. Um, and there is this pain and, and darkness in the past, but she was able to disconnect it from it. So she's, she's transitioning over to being open again in the 3D, but right now she's not, if that made any sense. Um, so what is the masculine bringing in the Eight of Cups? So this is somebody who's withdrawing emotionally. Um, they're moving on from something that has affected him emotionally. Now the energy is moving towards the feminine. So this mean, may mean that he's left Eight Cups behind and is pursuing um, his own emotional fulfillment right so he's starting over he's leaving eight cups taking not even taking a cup with him he's empty he's completely empty and he's moving on to to fill his cup again to begin anew so this also represents a spiritual journey tower queen of pentacles again and the emotional chakra sacral chakra uh i just realized i didn't shuffle um, when I shut the camera off, you're just going to have to trust me. Um, so the tower past position, so this is a sudden disruption, change, epiphany. So something happened that completely tore down these illusions, these attachments that he had in the 3D. Um, so, you know, that's why he's walking away. Something affected him so deeply that he had no choice but to move on present position is what he's moving on to towards the queen of pentacles this is his desire or or he could be walking away from the queen of pentacles I, but that doesn't make any sense especially when the queen of pentacles shows up in the near future for him so he's leaving something behind something that he knows isn't real something that you know it's the house of cards right it was meant to come down you know, with a very slight breeze, it will come tumbling down. And so um, it ends so that something new can be built upon it, right? Something that is more in line with who he was, he truly is. So there's a de desire to manifest the Queen of Pentacles into his 3D reality. And so that's, and it seems to be that's what he's working, you know, that he will have. Um, so the Sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored. This is a blockage. The first three chakras are where the parasites are stored. So he still has this emotional baggage that he's taking with him. Now, there might be something that occurs to activate his heart again, right, with the three cups there. That is an ignition switch of feeling love. Um, but it requires him to heal his heart, to open himself up, heal his heart, let go of the past, forgive himself, forgive others, and clear that blockage, right? Um, so, yeah, there's movement towards the feminine. It has to do with spirituality. It has to live, do with living his truth with the tower. He made that realization. Um, and for some you know, couples out there, there could be, you know, connection or union um, or a meeting, a chance meeting, you know, something happening. You both want to walk out that door. There is a go light here, right? And it's going to take um, strength and courage to do it, but there is a strong desire for a connection and a new beginning in the 3D reality. Now, the Empress card is also very grounded, motherly energy like the Queen of Pentacles over there. So, again, a 3D physical connection is possible. 
The king, queen. King, queen. Queen. But the feminine is closed off. Now this could mean the masculine is closed off and then becomes open, right? Um, that's definitely a possibility, but the feminine also has to stay open to, to create that environment. With the strength card, this is at the foundation. So this is what's grounding this connection. Oh, okay, and the ace of swords just um, flipped down. So let me just pull that card. So this is making a decision, speaking your truth, um, it's communication, right? It is having nothing to hide. It's being exposed, vulnerable. Um, it's also very successful, triumphant card. So as a foundation is a strength card. There's kindness, compassion, gentle, loving, nurturing energy. Remember, it showed up in the past over here. But, um, you know, it's a very powerful energy. This gentle, loving energy is had far-reaching consequences, right? It is creating health, a desire for health, a desire to heal, and a desire to create stability, you know, um, a home is what I'm feeling with that. So as a foundation, we, you know, we have a masculine line and a feminine line coming together, um, controlling their instincts, just being gentle with each other, and then clarity coming from that, decisions being made, communication possibly. So I'm going to pull, let me just shuffle this real quickly here. Okay, so one card for the feminine, nice, the high priestess and the masculine, the king of swords. So the king of swords is somebody who wields the ace of swords, right? He's holding the ace of swords in his hands. He has the power to make decisions, to communicate. He's the master communicator. Um, but this is having mental clarity, making decision, then taking action. So the masculine either has cut himself off emotionally. I don't, you know, I mean, yeah, I do feel that. But what I'm feeling strongly is that because this gentle energy was created, he either wants to communicate or he was able to make decisions regarding his future, right? There's this ending here. The Ten of Swords is an ending to the dark night of the soul. Now, it could also mean that communication was cut off, right? Now, the feminine is bringing in the High Priestess, so this is somebody who is very intuitive, connected, um, third eye chakra, so this is connection to the subconscious mind, um, so, you know, this is, you know, um, listening to your inner voice in order to guide you, so there's, there's a sense that a decision needs to be made or that answers need to be found, and she found clarity through silence, through stillness, through inaction, and because there is a sense that a door is still open there. Um, you know, this allowed the masculine possibly to make decisions or communicate. Um, yeah, but I see this very feminine, gentle energy of stillness, silence, inner knowing um, coming on both sides, right? The, the King of Swords has mental clarity, but he's more of an extroverted energy, whereas the feminine is an introverted energy, is looking within. But, you know, they both find answers with the Ace of Swords. The crowning, as I mentioned earlier, is the Two of Wands. Uh, so this is expansion, seeing the possibilities, taking that inspiration and building on it. Um, so, one card for the feminine is two of swords, and for the masculine, wow, Ace of Pentacles. A lot of repeating cards here. So the Ace of Pentacles is over on the feminine side here, so that's like um, a gift, an offer. So, 
you know, as a major arcana on the feminine side, it may be the feminine who offered this gift of long-term um, manifestation, long-term stability. And you can see that idea growing on the masculine side. So he wants to take that gift. He wants to start a new life. He wants to expand on that idea. He see, he wants, he's seeing all the possibilities. Um, and so this is a desire to start a new life in the 3D reality, right? Building on that, you know, possibly, you know, moving, starting a new job, just there's an opportunity there and a willingness to build on it. And if you're the king of pentacles in the present moment, um, there is a definite, you know, like I said, he's got the Midas touch. He turns everything to gold. So once he makes that decision to do it, you know, stand back. He will make it happen, you know, and, and here we have that King of Pentacles happening again. So, the feminine's bringing the Two of Swords. Okay, so sh this is indecision. It's crossroads. It is waiting for a decision to be made. Um, it is realizing that your decision has far-reaching consequences and because it impacts other people there's a fear to make that decision so it just feels to me like she's waiting on the other side of that door waiting for that decision waiting she wants an answer or she wants clarity and the masculine desires to give her that clarity or answer right so we got two twos there, which is like forming a partnership, coming together, making decisions, and then the ace is, you know, starting a new life. So at the heart is the ace of wands, and very, very powerful card here. So, um, you know, this is an opening, like I said before, a, con a kundalini awakening. It's um, desire to create a new life that is spiritually aligned. Rather than focusing on the 3D reality, it's focused on spirituality. So at the heart, there's the, the light is green. You're getting a go light um, on both sides. They're both feeling this, this desire to manifest, and they want to turn that ace into the two. Okay, so the Eight of Cups for the Feminine and this very nice Star card for the Masculine. So the Star card is wish granted. So at the heart, he feels like his dreams are coming true. Um, he's feeling inspired. He's feeling like the worst is over. This is the Hope card. It's offered his hope for the future. So he, it is healing energy, though. It's a pause. While the pause happens, um, he's able to heal himself. He, he, he gets you know the rest that he needs. Um, and, you know, it's like once that period's over, then, um, you know, there's that new beginning with, with, uh, the sun and a final completion with the universe. So the feminine's bringing in the eight of cups, same card that the masculine's bringing in. So either the, fe the fe you know, you can see here now the energy is moving away from the union, right? There's this go light. This new beginning that's kind of lingering there, and emotionally at the heart, she she feels like the Eight of Cups, like she's moving away from that. Um, you know, and again we see that her closing off in the near future as well. So let's just see what that is about. What do you mean by you know? Let me use this card, these cards here. What do you mean by the Eight of Cups? Okay, so, so the toxic pe people feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back. Okay, so she feels that, uh, yeah, I pulled it for the Eight of Cups, right? So maybe she feels this relationship is toxic to her. Um, and that's why she withdrew from it. That's why she's closed off to it. The passion is still there. The desire to be with the masculine is still there. But um, she, 
she feels that she's been putting too much work, too much effort into something that seems to be going nowhere. And as a result, she's walking away from the connection. And I'm, I'm sorry to have to to be the bearer of bad news, but it definitely that's what I feel. It's almost like you waited too long to find the strength and the courage to come forward, to begin a new life. And now the feminine is moving away from it. She's pursuing her own... She's loving herself. This is a very strong self-love card. All right, so she is pursuing um, the things that make her happy, make her feel healthy. But at the same time, she's still providing a very nurturing energy in the 5D realm. There's still that gentleness about her. She's not reacting or acting out. She's defensive and closed off. But she's still, you know, deeply in love with the masculine, and there's no doubt about it. Um, but instead of focusing entirely on the 3D, she is focusing on her spiritual growth. Whereas the masculine, on the other hand, is coming out of the mental and into the physical. Um, closed off emotionally and trying to open up. Um, but he requires him to heal first. So the overall energy is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so like I said earlier, it's the Wounded Warrior. Um, that card shows up in the past over here. So this is giving consistent effort to, you know, manifest your desires, your dreams into the 3D reality and just feeling knocked down continuously and feeling like you want to give up. And so this means that both aspects need to um, take a chill pill, put down some of the burden, delegate responsibility, make a plan for the long term, and then activate that plan. But do it, you know, take one step at a time, like the king and queen. They're very grounded, solid figures, right? Um, be like the, uh, the knight of pentacles, who takes it one step at a time, and he always arrives at his goal. There's a sense that you're about to manifest something. There's, there's a completion of a cycle that is about to happen, but it is exhaustion that, you know, burning the candle both ends, that could be your downfall, right? So take a chill pill, both of you guys. Okay, so... Let's pull two cards. So we, yeah, let's do the Mr. Mermaids. So final message from the universe. Oh, okay. Um, one sec, let me just pull that. Pick it up. Okay, so that was Mermaid with Butterflies. Now I think this card is all about transformation, right? It's like the death card. It's rising in consciousness. Okay, so one card for the feminine first, please. This one. Nice. Jellyfish portal. That's exactly what I'm feeling from her. She's letting go and she's just going with the flow. She's not fighting to get someone's attention or to make something manifest in the 3D. She, or she's being asked to let go, to surrender, right? She's being closed off, holding on too tightly. Okay, so with the masculine, Stardust Angel, awesome. So... Um, that this is kind of what I was feeling over on the feminine side with the sun and the crown chakra, you know, and the ace of wands, um, and the empress. So this is like spiritual awakening, but the masculine is getting that card. Um, where's my books? Okay, one second. Okay, so number 19. Okay, Jellyfish Portal. Let life take us unassuming, yielding to the ebb and flow. No hurries, no worries. Exactly, that's exactly what I said. There's no need to hurry. Just take it one step at a time. The Page of Pentacles is in no rush. She's committed to the long-term goal. Um, okay, so no hurries, no worries. We've no need to scurry. The current will lead us wherever we go. 
A deep dwelling mermaid watches passively as a smack ice blue as a smack of ice blue jellyfish flutter by, carried by the ocean current. Their brilliant luminosity brings light to the otherwise darkened scene. Yes, so I'm seeing that with the high priestess as well. There's this inner knowing, this inner illumination. She is the sun and she's surrendering, letting go. But like I said, there's that closing off. Um, so the meaning is to go with the flow. You've been fighting and struggling with your present situation without making much progress. Isn't that exactly what I was saying? You keep fighting and struggling to make something happen and it's turned toxic. It is time to take a page from the jellyfish book and allow things to take their natural course. Although they have the capability to move independently, jellyfish tend to allow themselves to drift along the currents of the ocean, trusting the process, not fighting what is. Do the same and you may find yourself at a more content, relaxed, and peaceful person, even if you wind up somewhere you never expected to be. So yeah, that's exactly what I was saying with the Nine of Wands there, right? Stop fighting, stop trying to control, um, make it happen. 22. Oh, wow. So I said the reading was for the 11th until the 22nd. I opened it on Flying Fish, which is 11. I don't know why I went backwards instead of forwards. That's weird. Okay, Stardust Angel. Celestial Council of the Night, steer me soundly with your light, navigate, instruct, advise, share your knowledge, make me wise, enlighten me, help me decide, be my astral spirit guide, and that's exactly what I was feeling, that the feminine on a 5D level is opening this beautiful, gentle, nurturing space, allowing the masculine to heal himself, to open up spiritually. So dazzling beauty floats on the water, but her gaze is fixed towards the night sky. Her soulful eyes seek guidance from the heavens that are radi radiantly reflected in her hair. So the meaning is follow, follow your guiding star. We all have someone in our lives that we can look, um, look to as a role model. Somebody who can guide us in times of trouble or uncertainty. Now is just such a time and it is in your best interest, interest to turn to this person or to follow her example, his or her example. Their wisdom, good sense, and strong moral compass are precisely what you need to get your own life back on your preferred path, right? And so again, it reflects that desire to go on the right path, that there's illusions that have come down, movement, you know, letting go of this emotional blockage and starting a new life that is more spiritually aligned, definitely. Um, and there's a lot of wisdom and groundedness in, no, in this knowing, right? There's a lot of mental clarity. Um, so the light is green. It's go time. You know, the ace coupled with the nine up there is a completion. Ten, it's over. Oh, something's happening. It's getting dimmer. I think it's... Oh, yeah, I think it's going to stop right away. I don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah, okay. I love you guys, and I will be putting out the masculine and feminine readings shortly. All right. Um, and if you're waiting for reading, um, please be patient, guys. Uh, no messages or emails about, you know, when's my reading going to be ready because um, I wasn't able to do any while my Internet was shut off. There's just absolutely no way. I have a tower computer. Um, so I'm not mobile, that kind of thing. So um, I love you guys so much. All right, cheers.